Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna do a what's in our diaper bag for our almost one year old. She's 11 months old, so she's pretty much one year old. One year old. And I thought we could unpack her diaper bag and I could show you what we take with us every day. So Holly's diaper bag, I would consider a pretty minimal diaper bag. We don't have a lot of extras in here, but I feel like I have just enough to where we are prepared for any situation that we may encounter. Uh, blowouts, uh, spills, accidents, anything like that. Um, if we end up going out to eat or if we're out longer than expected, I do have some snacky things in here. But I thought first I could talk about the actual diaper bag. This is a Miss Fong convertible diaper bag. It is a backpack. And it is a convertible backpack, so we travel quite a bit. So there is a zipper down here that you can put this back compartment on a luggage um, handle, which has been extremely helpful for us. But it does have those backpack straps for you, which you can actually tuck into this little uh, compartment back here. If you don't want to wear it as a backpack, you can wear it as a shoulder strap. And then it also comes with these stroller straps that I just have on here. We use them from time to time, but since it's winter time right now, I could probably take them off. But the biggest thing that I love about this diaper bag, because the diaper bags are very overwhelming, especially if it's your first baby and you're not quite sure what type of diaper bag you like. I definitely recommend a backpack because when you're carrying a baby and then you're carrying a shoulder bag and it can just get very chaotic very quickly. So I do recommend a backpack diaper bag of some kind. Now, my favorite thing about this diaper bag is that it is lightweight, but it's big enough to carry everything that we need and it's a bucket bag. That's the biggest thing for me. You can unzip the top and fold it back and you have full access to everything in this diaper bag. But I think what we're gonna do is we'll all take everything out and then we'll go through it piece by piece and kind of repack her diaper bag together so that you can see what she has in here and I can organize it just a little bit because everything's kind of crammed in there. I do have some extra things in there that not everybody is gonna need, but this is our diaper bag. I'll link it below. This Miss Fong diaper bag comes in all kinds of colors, all kinds of styles. They also have a mini version if you need something smaller, but this has turned out to be the perfect for us. I have never used anything different because this has always performed perfectly for what we needed. So I have everything pulled out of the diaper bag, but I thought I would show you kind of the construction of the bag itself. So you've got a zipper pocket up here, another pocket, and then on each side you have a zipper pocket as well as a open pocket. And then on the very back, you have that convertible um, large pocket that fits a um, tablet, phone, laptop, anything like that. There's some lady products down in there. And then it has the zipper that you can open up to put on luggage or you can zip it to make it a full pocket. And then when you open the bag, flip these back. This is my favorite part about the bag. Like I said, it's a bucket bag. So you can completely flip this bag and it's out of your way. So you've got a large pocket here with a zipper. You've got a smaller pocket here with a zipper, and then this one does not have a zipper, but it is also just a regular pocket. And then you've got kind of the main compartment of your bag here. It's plenty big for everything that you need. It has a strap to put your keys. I usually put like an extra pacifier on this so that if I need it in a hurry, I can just grab this and get it out of my way. And then each of these pockets are actually, oops, forgot something in there. These are actually all insulated on the front of the bag here. So you've got one, oh, no, I lied. These two side pockets are insulated. Um, this front one and this front one are not, but they are open pockets. So you've got two insulated pockets for your bottles or anything that you would need like that. And then there's one more little like quick zipper pocket up in the very, very front here. And I've never actually used this pocket, so it still has little silk things in it, but that sit back up but that's kind of the overall view of the bag like I said it's nice and open you can get to everything you can see everything and it fits everything that we need this is the perfect size for us 
I also wanted to give you an overview of everything that we can fit into this bag. This is everything that we carry with us every day, all the time. Whenever we grab this bag, this stuff is always in it, ready to go. So as you can see, this is quite a bit of things, but I don't think there's anything in here that we don't need or will need or that we don't use if we do go out. So I would consider this a pretty minimal diaper bag, but it does have a few extra things in case of accidents or things like that because kids. So the first thing that I'm gonna put back in this diaper bag that goes on the very, very bottom of her diaper bag is some extra clothes. I have a pair of socks here, just a short sleeve onesie, and then I like to throw a one piece like jumpsuit or sleeper or some kind of easy, quick outfit that doesn't take up a whole lot of room. So that if we are out and she has a blowout or an accident or she spills something or gets food on her or anything like that, I have just one outfit that I can take her home in or that she can continue her day in depending on what we're doing. So I like to keep those in the very bottom, but I do have, you know, if she just gets something on her shirt, I've got a onesie I can change out, but if she soils her pants or anything like that, I have a sleeper that I can put her in or of course somewhere really late. We've uh, gone out a couple times and been out later than we have expected. So to be able to throw her in some pajamas before we put her in her car seat to bring her home is pretty nice because she falls asleep on the way home. We get home, she's pretty groggy, so I just have to get her out of the car seat, put her in bed, and it's a lot less to manage when we get home and she is really tired and ready to go. The next thing that I'm gonna throw down in our bag is these Johnson uh, hand and face wipes. I like to use these as like a bath wipe. So if she gets like especially messy or if she has a blowout that kind of gets all over her or something like that and she needs just a little bit more than a baby wipe because we use a lot of the unscented just kind of plain water wipes. These come in good handy for bigger messes. So I like to keep them and they come in like a smaller package. I think there's, let's see if it says on here. 25 wipes in this little package so it doesn't take up much room and if I need it or if like I get a mess on my hands or something like that it needs something a little more durable and a little more um, sturdy I guess than a baby wipe. These are really good to have. So throw that right in the bottom there. Next I've got a burp cloth. Uh, she doesn't really use these anymore but I keep one in here just in case she spills a bottle or makes a mess or something like that and we're just one, because that's really all we're gonna need. Then we've got, obviously, diapers. I usually throw a handful, at least six diapers in here, and then if I notice that we're getting low, or if we go out for a day and I need quite a few, I will make sure to restock, and then a package of wipes. I just use a full-size package, instead of like the smaller uh, travel size ones, because you never know what's gonna happen. So I just throw a full size in there and then I don't have to worry about it. We've also got a just changing pad. So if we're at somebody's house, I don't wanna change her like on their couch or on their floor without some kind of barrier, just in case, uh, you know, we have a messier diaper than normal. I don't wanna mess up any of their fridge. Next, I've got diaper rash cream. So this is just some Aquaphor and I've got a couple little travel size of the, um, actual diaper rash cream that Aquaphor makes, but some kind of diaper rash, Aquaphor situation to go in here just in case she does break out if we're out during the day. Uh, I also have a emergency little pack of feminine products for myself. Um, I breastfed for eight months, so that situation was very delayed for me because I was nursing. So you never knew when it was gonna hit or if it was gonna hit. And now I am back on the pill and we are on our birth control, so we are back on the schedule. But just in case you never know, I throw just a little pack, just got a couple pads and a couple tampons in here, throw it in the bag because you never know. Next we've got some like hand sanitizer wipes and some disinfecting wipes. Cause you know, if you go to the grocery store or you have a playground and something is just a little more yucky than normal, I like to have these just in case I need them for something or grocery stores now usually have a station in the front by the carts where you can spray and wipe down your carts and things to keep them clean. But sometimes those are empty or they're out of paper towels or something, so I like to keep these in here just in case we need them. And I like to stick them in this front pouch so I have quick access to them whenever I need. I've got like a uh, nail clippers I keep in the side just in case she gets a hangnail or something or if she uh, has really sharp nails because maybe 
nails are like little knives. They're super sharp. So I got that in there just in case. I also have an Aldi quarter. If you shop at Aldi, you completely understand why this is in here. But sometimes you forget your quarter and at Aldi, um, if you're not familiar, their grocery cards, you have to stick a quarter in it to be able to use the cart. And then when you put the cart back, it gives you back your quarter. Um, I've also got a couple little toys in here. This is I like a few toys. So we've got a book, some kind of clip on toy, something that I can hook on to her car seat, her stroller, her, the cart if we're at the grocery store, a high chair if we're at a restaurant, something that I can clip on. That way she can't throw it, can't lose it, anything like that. And then a book just to keep her a little more entertained. And then I have a couple little teething rings because we are in that stage of getting some teeth and when it hits it hits hard so i always have a couple little teethers in there ready to go just in case she needs them for anything just get her little book in there and then her toy i just hook on the handle on the back here that way i can get to it without opening her diaper bag also got a chapstick for mom going right in the side pocket there um i've also got a couple masks because you never know, some places still require them. So then I've got my wallet. My wallet goes in there as well because I don't leave the house without this bag and I very rarely leave the house without the baby. Next thing, I have a couple blankets. One is like a fleece blanket and one is kind of like a thicker textile blanket. And I keep these just in case I need a changing pad or if a big mess happens or if it gets really cold or anything like that. I have two just in case I need them. They don't take up much room. They don't really get in my way. So it doesn't hurt for us to have a couple of them just in case we need them. All right, next we've got a, just an extra pacifier with a clip so that she doesn't lose it. And like I said, I like to hook it on this little key strap here so that I can get to it in a hurry because sometimes they just need that pacifier yesterday. So I got that clip down there to put that hand on the side so I can rest this back in. Then I have probably one of the most important things in a diaper bag is an empty bottle, an empty clean bottle. So if she needs a drink of water or if she, I also have these formula packets and I will link all everything that I can below, but I like to take these in our diaper bag just in case we were out longer than expected and she gets hungry or if we go to the grocery store and things just take longer because life happens. And babies get hungry pretty often. So I've got a clean bottle. I can usually get water anywhere if we're going like to the park or something or at the racetrack where like I don't think water will be readily accessible. I will go ahead and put some water in this, but for now it's just an empty bottle so I have it. And then I have four of these formula packets that I was sent uh, as a sample, but you can buy them in the to-go packets. And I do recommend getting just a few of them or just one small box of them so you have them to be able to put them in your diaper bag. I also have a formula dispenser that we have filled up and put in this diaper bag as well but right now I have packets so that's what I have in here. Next I've got just a little applesauce pouch and a spoon just in case she gets hungry. And then the last two things that I have in here I have a smock bib for her so I don't have to worry about her clothes getting messed up if we do stop to eat or if I need to give her something to eat. This stays in here. A lot of times we will go to my parents' house and so I will already have this in our diaper bag ready to go so I don't have to remember to grab it. And it, it folds up so small, it doesn't take up any room hardly. So I set that right on top. And then the very last thing, which looks bulky when I have it unrolled here, is a high chair harness. This is a travel high chair that you clip on to the back of just a standard chair. So here's your top two straps. You put this over the top and click it into place. And it sits on the chair just like this on the back. And then it's like a harness seat. So this is clipped onto the top of the chair. So this is gonna stay up. And then you've got your two shoulder straps here. And then you've got the bottom that folds up and, and holds them in. This has been such a wonderful baby gear investment. I think it was $30 on Amazon because like I said, we travel a lot. So this goes in the motorhome with us. It goes to my parents with us. Holly is the only baby in our family currently. So 
Uh, nobody's house is set up for a baby. So we bring this with us wherever we go. That way we have some kind of high chair situation that we can put her in. She's contained, she's content. She never has any issues with being in this. It fits right in our diaper bag. It rolls up nice and neat, as you can see. And it sets right in the top of our bag here. Throw that pacifier in there. And that's it. I'm gonna zip up our bag. And everything fits perfectly. If you are a new mom, I know packing a diaper bag can be very overwhelming, especially if you're starting to be able to a babysitter or anything like that. A lot of times they will let you know what they will need in your diaper bag as far as extras. But for a grab bag that is just packed and ready to go at all times by the door, you can just grab it and head out the door. This has worked for us tremendously well. This diaper bag has been wonderful. It does not dig into your shoulders if it's too heavy. It's big enough to where you can hold everything, but it's not so bulky that you feel like you're wrestling it everywhere. And it is super slim. It's very stylish. And I want to say it's a knockoff. I'm trying to think of the brand name. It's a designer diaper bag brand. I want to say it's called Fawn Design. I'm pretty sure that's what it's called, but those diaper bags can $150-$200. And quite frankly, I didn't have that much money to spend on a diaper bag. I was thankfully gifted this diaper bag for our baby shower, one of our baby showers, but um, I would have bought this regardless because this is the one that I wanted because of that bucket top. I can't tell you how much I love the fact that we can completely open the top and nothing is in our way. We can see everything that's in there and everything fits perfectly. It's not too heavy, not too cramped. I could talk for days on this diaper bag, but I really hope this helps you kind of pack your diaper bag or if you're in search for a diaper bag, I highly, highly recommend this one. I will link everything that I use below. I will link the specific thing or something close to it below for you. So if you are curious, or even if you're wanting to pack a diaper bag for a baby shower gift, someone you know is having a baby, if you were to get them a diaper bag or just diaper bag essentials, these would be great things to kind of put together as a care package for a diaper bag. I am so glad that you guys decided to spend some time with me today and I really enjoyed spending some time with you and I will see you guys very soon in my next video. Bye guys.